AI is the mega trend in energy management systems. Find out now how Cygenergy uses the technology in its products for the benefits of its customers. Hi Sven. Hey Carsten, good to have you at our booth today. Yeah, thank you for the invitation. Um, how does AI make your energy management system better? It's making it better where it's becoming more complex. Yeah, for example, we are offering for our customers already dynamic tariffs, meaning they can benefit from low energy cost. And um, that means, of course, you need to manage different loads, like for example, a car, which is a big load like for example a heat pump or even like charging your storage. And as you're not always at home, as not your whole exercise is to manage all these devices by yourself, you need something intelligent. And AI is exactly what you need there to make your life easier and more comfortable. How does the AI learn about me and my habits? It's like analyzing your habits in the end, we are analyzing the demand over time, weekdays, the whole week, and then building patterns. And of course, you're also changing your habits every once in a while, but this is the strength of AI. AI is like adding this up to an even stronger pattern over time. Do you have an example when it comes to energy consumption? Yes, for example, your habit, when are you leaving your house? How long do I have the car available to charge or discharge the car? For example, if you are someone who is leaving Monday mornings at 10 and usually at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, then on Mondays I have two hours more yeah, to use the car for cheap prices, for example. Or if family is at home uh, over noon and is cooking all the time, you know that between, let's say, 11.30, 12.30, you're going to have a high demand. And these things we can use yeah, to support and to optimize charge and discharge strategies. Car is a good keyword. This car is also capable or your energy management system is capable of bidirectional charging. How do you use this in the whole system? Well, if there is a need that you have to cover um, and for example, dynamic pricing is not offering cheap energy cost, we could also use the car's battery to serve the demands in the household. Yeah? And as demands in households usually are not that high compared to the capacity you have in the car, it's not even a big like, threat for the car, right? You're losing some five kilowatt hours, maybe not a big deal for a car. So this can just support to become more self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay. When it comes to AI, it's still in its infancy. So um, where are we heading when it comes to AI in energy management systems? What do we have to expect in the future? Yeah, I guess the algorithms are there. Yeah, so what we need is more data, more people, more interaction. Because the strength of AI is that it is self-learning and optimizing over time. And the more people you have, uh, the more interaction, the more data, the better it gets. And this is what we are going to see um, in the next years. And what we are also offering uh, is, for example, a chatbot. And this chatbot is offering a wonderful solution to interact with customers, with installers. And you can ask a lot of questions here and then you will receive an answer. Can I also ask how I can get down my energy bills? You can ask. <laughs> I'm not sure you're getting a, a beautiful answer right now. But over time you will, because the more people are asking, yeah, the better the AI will get, because it tries to find good answers to it. Yeah? And that's the strength. Very good. You're also bringing a very new product to this trade fair. What is that? It is about big commercial plants, right? Also, our standard product can already be used for commercial plants, up to several megawatt hours, no problem. But for very big plants, we have also a very specialized product right now with uh, high efficiencies and a split like uh, architecture to make it easier to install in very big environments. What capacity does that have? You can go up to 110 kilowatt power output per inverter 
and you can attach like 21 battery modules in series times 11 kilowatt hours. Okay, should we, can you show it to me? Yes, of course, let's go. Thank you. All right, Carsten, here we are at our new commercial product. This is the uh, split design, meaning we have a hybrid inverter separate from the battery modules. What is new about this hybrid inverter? We are using silicon carbide and this is reducing the dimensions of the product by 40% and the weight by 20%. Currently, we are actually really the only ones already offering uh, this kind of technology. We are connecting this to um, battery modules that can store up to 11 kilowatt hours each. And we are connecting them in series, 21 of them. So you are going to have three towers in total and connect them DC side to the hybrid inverter. We can connect up to 1,250 volts, so for very long strings. And in order to ensure a safe uh, operations, we also increased the AFCI uh, from 300 meters to 500 meters, which is also something very new on the market. Thank you very much, Sven, for these exciting insights into your new products. And if you would like to know more about Cygenergy's products, please visit the website cygenergy.com. Mm -hmm.